everyone. So we're going to jump right into this video. It's a what I eat in a day video and it is, let's see, 723. I start work at um, eight o'clock and I do work from home. So that is nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to start. I've got everything that I need for my coffee here. We're going to start with a scoop of the vital proteins, collagen. Let's see if I can do this and film at the same time. So I love putting it in there first and then pouring the coffee in because the coffee just kind of melts, melts the uh, collagen. Okay, and then of course, I've gotta have my heavy whipping cream. And I would say that's probably a little more than two tablespoons, not by much. It always seems like more on the camera, but I promise you I've been doing this so much and then I'm using this uh, Splenda Monk Fruit Liquid. It's just like the stevia drops that I get. And we're good to go. I forgot a spoon. So I'm gonna grab a spoon and stir it up and it's ready to go. And that is my coffee for the day. And um, yeah, I am not eating until 12. I do my own version, I guess you could say, of intermittent fasting. They do say that heavy whipping cream does break your fast. That's fine. I'm still losing weight, so whatever this is, is it, it's working for me. But I will say this, when I do, if, and most likely when I do hit a stall with losing weight, um, that's when I'll make other changes, like maybe going dairy-free in the morning, um, maybe dairy-free altogether. I don't know, I just love my cheese, so I don't know, but, those are things that I will consider once I get to that point. But right now, if the, the weight's coming off still, I, I'm okay. So I'm going to keep doing this that I'm doing, the heavy whipping cream in my coffee with collagen and stevia. And yeah, so I'll be back probably around lunchtime. However, on my lunch, I'm going to take my run um, and then I'll put together my, my lunch. It's just going to be super simple and easy today. All right guys, so it is lunchtime now, and if you guys have been following me for a while, I am like more of a snacker than anything. So I thought today, I just got back from my run, and I thought it would be easier if I just made myself a snack plate so I can bring it to my desk and eat it that way. But I have all of this pretty much came from, or most of it came from Sunday's meal prep. So that's another reason why I had all this stuff ready to go. I just knew it would be easy. So I'm having a couple of deviled eggs and one slice of bacon. I have some of the pork belly to snack on, some pepper jack cheese, it's already been cubed. And I'm trying that, I don't know how to say it, Giardiniera, the Italian mix. I've got a serving of that here. And pretty much the only thing that is a, has a carb in it is this so i'm having about one carb for lunch today so that's not bad so that is my lunch for today and then i'm going to drink a ton of water too the water is over at my desk so i'll show it to you later but i'm going to slip uh, a clip in here um, of an instagram story of the new water bottle that i got so it'll look different for the next few seconds Just talking about the water bottle but i thought i'd share it with you guys because i love it and it's so cute and it is magically making me drink my water. All right, so I'm back and I was supposed to put a clip in there of my new water bottle that I got and somehow it got deleted from my phone. So make sure you're following me on Instagram though because I do post things kind of like real time. Um, I'm trying to post every day, but here's my new water bottle. Look how cute this is. This holds a half a gallon of water. And so my goal is to have at least one of these a day to start out with. Eventually I wanna drink two of these so I get about a gallon of water a day. But so far I'm doing one. And, you know, cause I wanna take baby steps. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm ha I was having a hard enough time to do water, you know, originally, but I love it. There's a straw in it. Um, well, as you can see, and it's got this sleeve here. So if it's cold water, this will absorb all the like, what is that? The residue or the water that beads up on the outside of your cup. It's also got a strap that comes with it that you can hang on both sides and put it around your um, neck 
Um, you can put your keys on here. You can put stuff in here. Like it's just got all kinds of options for you if you're like out and about. And so I love it so far. So good. In fact, it was so cute that when Jessica saw it, she loved it and she got hers the very next day. So she's doing the same thing. So I think it's definitely helping. Ralphie wanted to say hi. Um, it's definitely helping with us, you know, motivating us to get our water intake. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was my weight loss for last week. Did I lose any weight? I did. I did. And I know this isn't always going to be the case because, you know, our bodies go through so many different changes and stuff. But so last week, and I weigh myself every Saturday because that's the day that I started and I was down 1.6 pounds. So I still lost a little over a pound and a half. So I'm excited right now. I'm at 178.6. I'm in the 170s. I'm already in another, you know, uh, 10th. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited that it's going that way. So, um, hopefully with the water and now that I'm working out, which <laughs> excuse this, there's no makeup, nothing. I'm a sweaty, stinky mess, but, um, well, hi there. <laughs> Ralphie's getting groomed next week cause he's in bad shape. Look at him. Oh, the poor guy. He won't let me cut him or brush him. So he's really loving the scratches right now because he's got so much, um, so much hair. But I hope you guys don't mind the Ralphie part. I know some of you love Ralphie just as much as I do. But so that's where I'm at. I'm um, drinking the water. I've lost a little bit more weight, which is good. I mean, the trend is going down. Um, I'm sure there's going to be certain times of the month if you know what I'm talking about, that I might gain a little bit or not move at all. And that's fine. As long as I'm still doing the same thing. Um, I'm, my struggles aren't so bad this week. Um, I think I'm getting over that hump of wanting to snack all the time or you know what I mean? And I'm doing so good. I'm so proud <laughs> of myself with, excuse me, eating out. Um, Andy, is, we went to a soccer game the other night It's for his team that he has, and it was really late at night. We didn't have dinner, and so on the way home, we stopped at McDonald's. McDonald's. Neither one of us got much to eat, but he got, um, you know, he got normal. He's not doing keto right now, and I got a, was it a quarter pounder? I don't even know the difference between Burger King, McDonald's, their burgers, but whatever, like a double quarter pounder with cheese no bun, no bun. And it was fine. It got me through, you know what I mean? It was late. So we didn't want to eat too much, but I had no bun. So I was so proud of myself. Like the thing I was proud about was I didn't have any French fries. Now Andy's French fries were piping hot straight out of the fryer. You could tell. And I think McDonald's fries are the best. Who's with me? <laughs> they're the best, especially when they're super hot like that. So I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I think that is a huge step for me. You know what I mean? Even my, it might just be one fry. Oh, well, I, I just, this whole time, I don't want to have any cheats and I haven't. And that's how it was the first time around for me. We'd had no cheats at all for over a year counting total carbs. So I know I can do it. I know I can do it. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you tonight for dinner. We're going to make the pork schnitzel. And then we're going to, I think we're going to have, um, the cauliflower mash too. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I haven't had any snacks or anything else. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the lunch that I had that actually filled me up. I'm good. I'm drinking the water. Oh, I did have an iced coffee. So I keep the leftover of my decaf in like a carafe and then I'm trying to mix it up. I got the Nespresso for Christmas and I put a Nespresso pod in there and I'll put it in here with the ice and it'll, you know, just make a little bit of, of coffee. And then I will put my decaf in here with some heavy whipping cream and some stevia drops. And it's delicious because I don't want too much caffeine, but it is so good. I love the strong flavor of the Nespresso pods. Um, do you guys have any, have an espresso? Tell me your favorite flavors. Um, Amazon, is that the best place to get them? So yeah, I, that's where I've been getting them so far. My dad had sent me what they get and just to kind of lead me in the right direction. But 
I'm loving that. So I'm going to have my electrolytes here in a little bit. I'll show you that, but um, I figure especially, usually I have it in the morning, but especially since I had, um, I did work out, I'm probably needing that. So I'll be back in a little bit with that. And then we will have dinner and Ralphie's falling asleep. Isn't he just so cute? He's so sweet. <laughs> he didn't realize he was looking at the camera, but we'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to have my electrolytes right now. And I thought I would spend a minute talking to you about the electrolytes that I use. And I have shared this before. This is the Relight brand and it is from Redmond's. It is very delicious. They have multiple flavors. I've talked about them quite a bit and about how much I like them. And I'm so excited to let you guys know that I actually have a code now. I can save you 15% off of this. So I will have my link down below if you have not tried it. They have many more products besides this, um, the electrolytes, and they have so many types of, I think they have like pre-workouts. They've got like single packets where you can like take them with you, which I'm probably going to be getting some of those soon too. You know, stick them in your purse or something and you can have electrolytes on the go. Um, so many different products. There's salts, seasoning blends, everything. I'm so excited that they gave me a code to share with you guys. I remember I was just talking about it the other day in one of my recent videos about how I couldn't wait and someday I will have one speak it into existence and it will happen guys. So it's the little things that get me excited, I know. But I'm gonna be having my electrolytes now because you know, not only am I doing keto, but I'm also, I just got done working out. Well, it's been a couple of hours now, but you just put a scoop of this in, you know, some water and I've got this. This turns out to be like the perfect amount of water in this little Turbis tumbler that I have. This Turbis tumbler is a, um, it's a Pampered Chef one. I used to sell Pampered Chef a long time ago and this was like one of the free gifts that I got. I mean, you probably didn't even care about that, but I thought I would share that with you. But anyway, so the code is Mission Keto. If you want to um, use that to get your electrolytes, try it. It is 15% off and I'll have all the information down below, but I'm so excited about that. And I hope you guys do try it. And if you do try it, I hope you love it. Let me know and let's get ready for dinner. Okay guys, so dinner tonight is just gonna end up being simple. I was gonna make the pork schnitzel out of the Keto Comfort Foods cookbook, but I'm just not feeling it tonight because there's like a lot of frying and stuff involved and I just don't feel like doing that cleanup tonight. So instead, I'm gonna cook all the pork chops. I cut these in half because they were real thick and then I trimmed off most of the fat around the edges. This looks like a lot, but they're real thin and I figure whatever we don't eat, maybe I can make some fried rice, pork fried rice or something with cauliflower rice. But I've just salted, salted and peppered these. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. And then I thought, you know those dips that I bought this past weekend, there's like a bacon cheddar dip and a jalapeno artichoke dip. I thought we could put some of that dip on top after it comes out. That just sounded delicious to me. So that's what we're gonna do for dinner. Our side is gonna be the frozen cauliflower mash. So I'm gonna cook that up, probably add some more butter and maybe some cream cheese in it or something like that. But I'll show you everything after it's done. It's just quick and easy. Do you guys get like that where you're just like, ugh, I don't know. I just, I ran to the store after work and then I had to shower because I was so stinky from my run. <laughs> so I'm just not feeling it. So it's gonna be, easy dinner tonight. All right, so here's the final plate for dinner. I have one of the pork chops and I added some of the, this is like a jalapeno artichoke dip that I got from Publix or no, Walmart. It's like two carbs per tablespoon. So there's probably about four carbs on there. And then I got the cauliflower mash, that frozen one that I bought last week in my grocery haul. And I added some flavor by putting some a little bit of cream cheese in it and then salt and pepper and then added some bacon and some shredded cheese on top so that's what's for dinner tonight looks delicious okay so here is dessert so you guys saw me make that sour cream coffee cake in my meal prep video and that's what i'm having 
So that yellow stuff is like the brown butter sauce. And I'll be honest, this is delicious, but the brown butter, there was too much of it. Like it just caked up in the middle of it. It was just, it was too much. So I pretty much have scraped off what I can and I just have the, um, the you know cream cheese on the top and everything and then you've got the streusel like stuff in the middle this is delicious i will definitely make it again but yeah that is everything that i ate for today i hope you like this video it was pretty simple make sure you hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff and don't forget to get your electrolytes all the information will be down below thanks for watching bye